Hey, and welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, like always, I appreciate you swinging by and watching Beer Review. Uh, tonight's episode, we're going to take a look at another pumpkin ale. Uh, this here is one out of Ellicottville uh, Brewing Company, Ellicottville, New York. So this here is a Pumpkinville Latte Seasonal Ale, of course, Seasonal Ale. Uh, six and a half percent alcohol by volume. Uh, 17 IBU is what I looked up and found. It says right there, Pumpkin L brewed with coffee. So I never heard of these guys. I um, was able to pick up a couple of them out of Ellicottville. Uh, this Pumpkin, um, Pumpkinville, Pumpkin Latte L, and a, uh, I can't remember what the other one was. Some I'll review after the, uh, I'll do all the pumpkin beers and holiday and uh, like uh, fall beers and things like that. But anyhow, I had no idea what Pumpkinville was, what Ellicottville was. Uh, so I kind of Googled them, watched a couple YouTube videos. So they have uh, in Ellicottville, New York, is my understanding. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, they have a, what, I wrote it down, uh, Holiday Valley. And they do something uh, called Pumpkinville where they have like a bunch of pumpkins or something like that. Uh, it actually looked like a pretty cool time. Uh, maybe a nice uh, place to take your family or whatever if you're up in that area. But anyhow, uh, I want to check out this beer here. Because I was uh, curious, Pumpkin L with coffee. I haven't had one of them. It's been a while. If you've watched the other two reviews I've uploaded, uh, a couple years since I've had any pumpkin beers in general. Anyway, uh, this here is uh, their website calls it a Pumpkin and Coffee Blonde L is what the Ellicottville uh, website uh, says. Ellicottville um, Brewing website. Now it says, uh, brewed and bottled in Ellicottville, New York, and Little Valley, New York. So, it's about all it says on here. It doesn't say ingredients or anything like that. You do got a picture of uh, some coffee, like coffee beans there in the bag. Some pumpkins, uh, like a little uh, pumpkin carriage or something there. Um, it's all really pretty cool artwork, you know. As far as the artwork goes... Man, for what it is, I'm give that artwork five out of five. I actually think it's pretty cool. Um, it's one thing that uh, attracted me to it was the the Pumpkinville Latte. Then I thought the artwork was pretty cool, so I figured, what the heck, pick this up. Now this one here, uh, I picked this up at Jungle Gyms down in the uh, Cincinnati area. This was under two bucks. I mean, this was like a dollar seventy nine a bottle, so I I thought the heck so i don't know if that's good or bad uh but a dollar 79 a bottle you see the ellicottville uh bottle cap there drop it over there let's get a pour on this thing and uh see what we got going on here so it didn't produce too much of a head on top of that a uh, little less than a, a finger of head produced up there Real fizzy one, a lot of bubbles popping away, very carbonated head. It's going to be gone in here in a few seconds. Uh, Color-wise, um, you know what? A hazy, coppery color, uh, typical to the style. Um, maybe not as dark co dark copper or like an ambery as, um, as some of them. Um, bit of a haziness more of a haziness to this uh as well that head's gone already there's just uh some like dish soap head residue dish soap bubble residue on top of this uh, let's get a nose on it oh this smells this smells good okay so actually smells like pumpkin pie coffee um, like you're eating a uh, sliced pumpkin pie with a cup of coffee there. Man. I pick up some vanilla in here. Maybe like a crackeriness, like a graham cracker, like a sweet crackeriness. Some va the vanilla. Oh, it smells pretty good. It actually does kind of smell like a latte. You know, I mean, it really does. Uh, that, I guess what I described there, pumpkin latte kind of what it smells like so anyhow let's get a drink on this like i kind of uh, kind of excited about getting a drink on it now after that uh, that nose oh wow okay six six and a half percent alcohol 
Nah, don't pick up any of that. This is a uh, the heavier side of medium body. Kind of, to me, it comes across kind of kind of a, a thick, like a thicker medium body beer. Real creamy mouth fill. So, very mild on the coffee. Um, it's it's not heavy coffee uh, beer at all. Very mild on the coffee, which is great because it allows for the pumpkin, the vanilla, almost a graham crackeriness comes through on this thing. Now, their website did say this is brewed with local ingredients, pumpkin, fresh roasted coffee beans, and other ingredients. So, it really does got that latte vibe going on, that latte mouthfeel, that kind of just that pumpkin latte-ness to it. It does have that. Like a nice creamy vanilla, uh, some graham cracker. Uh, you don't get a lot of cinnamon, maybe a little bit of caramels in there. The coffee that it puts off, a little bit of a roasted coffee-ness. This is actually very good, quite enjoyable. Uh, definitely the most enjoyable of the uh, pumpkin ales I've had this year. Um, it's only the third one. It's the third one I've had in two years because uh, I haven't had them. But uh, from what I can remember, just thinking back on my past um, pumpkin beers I've had, this is pretty damn good, you know. I have no problem with this. Uh, right now, I'm a little... What do I want to score this? Where do I want to put it in at? Yeah, I really like that... That creamy... Vanilla... Pumpkin latte-ness to the... And I'm not a latte drinker by any means. But this is kind of making me want a pumpkin latte... I think I'm going to give this a score. Lower side, 4.25. Um, definitely probably the highest rated of the uh, fall beers that I've done so far. I'm going to give this about a 4.15 is what I'm going to put this in at. 4.15 out of 5. Uh, it's very solid. I do recommend this. If you like, uh, if you like pumpkin else and you like... Uh, coffee, coffee stouts, coffee ales, blonde, blonde ales, um, things like that. I think you'd dig this. Um, I know I really do, and, and, you know, I'm not a huge, huge pumpkin, uh, pumpkin beer person, but, uh, I actually like this quite a bit, so 4.15 out of 5. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, check me out on social media, hit that notification bell down below.